important paperwork Casey Anthony's defense team wanted but couldn't get. That's right. Records that detail the search for Kaylee all those months she was missing. And now does the defense have something that could prove Casey's innocence? Local 6's Adam Longo did some digging and is live tonight in Orange County. What were you able to uncover, Adam? Yeah, Mike, well, we just learned today from the state that they have handed over 34 pages of documents, interviews with Deputy Richard Kane. They've turned those over to the defense. Now, we don't know yet what Deputy Kane told investigators about the time he spent in the woods back on August 13th with meter reader Roy Cronk. But it is clear it's likely the defense could use this and other documents as ammunition to help cast reasonable doubt on Casey Anthony's guilt. Local 6 has learned that Casey Anthony's defense team just received a stack of documents from the sheriff's office concerning Texas-based EcuSearch. We'd like to be able to investigate where all of the areas that were searched. Lead attorney Jose Baez requested the information back in February after a judge denied his subpoena for the search group to turn over their records to the defense. But Local 6 made a public records request to look at sheriff's office documents dealing with EcuSearch, and I recently sat down over there to look at those files. The documents include a CD with pictures of areas searched by the group and one shot a grid pattern of the neighborhood around the Anthony house. And there in zone B14 is where Kaylee's remains were found. We were all over this area several times, but the bottom line is it's pro it was probably underwater and that's really all we can say right now. Former Sheriff Kevin Berry says deputies searched there too. AccuSearch founder Tim Miller says his group was there in the area too. So why is that important? Because Casey's defense team will likely try to argue Kaylee Kaylee's remains weren't there in August or July or June, meaning Casey couldn't have put her there. We're looking into every, every single aspect. We're going to leave no stone unturned. And that's why they grilled Kane for four hours in that deposition, and they're still not done. They're likely to reschedule, continue that deposition in the next couple of weeks. It is likely that the defense will argue Kane wasn't careless when he was out in those woods. They'd like to argue that he would have found the remains if they were actually there then. Live in Orange County tonight, Adam Longo, Local 6. So, Adam, prosecutors have turned more documents over the defense. Any idea when we're going to see those? Right, Mike. I talked to a spokesperson within the state attorney's office tonight. They say there's actually a long list of things that we're waiting to get public documents for, including 20 CDs and DVDs, including hundreds of pages of discovery, likely to become public sometime before the end of the week, Mike. All right, thank you, Adam.